Tuberculous lymphadenitis is a chronic, specific granulomatous inflammation of the lymph node with caseation necrosis. Lymph nodes are the most common site for extrapulmonary tuberculosis. Peripheral tuberculous lymphadenitis, previously termed scrofula, a unique manifestation of disease caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis complex. Causative organism is Mycobacterium tuberculosis, not Mycobacterium bovis. Site Common in neck lymph nodes. Common in upper deep cervical. Jugulidigastric lymph nodes, 54%. Next common is posterior triangle lymph nodes, 22%. Disease can also occur in other lymph nodes, like axillary lymph nodes, para-aortic lymph nodes, mesenteric lymph nodes, inguinal lymph nodes. Disease may be associated with HIV infection, lymphomas. Gross pathology. Firm, matted, lymph node with cut section showing yellowish. Cassiting material. Microscopic features. Epithelioid cells with cassiting. Material are seen along with London's type of giant cells. Clinical features. First, stage of lymphadenitis. Common in young adults between 20 to 30 years. Dubulodigastric upper group of weak cervical lymph nodes are enlarged. Non-tender, discrete, mobile, firm lymph node is palpable. Second, stage of matting. Periadenitis results due to involvement of capsule of lymph node. Nodes moves together. Nodes are firm and non-tender. Third, stage of cold abscess. Due to central satiation necrosis of lymph node. No local rise in temperature. No redness. Soft cystic flexuant swelling is present. Transillumination is negative. On stenoclidomastoid contraction test, node become less prominent which indicates that it is deep to deep fascia. Fourth, stage of collar stud abscess. Rupture of cold abscess through deep fascia. It comes out from deep fascia and form another swelling below skin. It is cross flexuant. Fifth, stage of sinus. Collar stud abscess brush to form tubercular sinus. This is common in young females. Sinus can be multiple. Resemble is ulcer with undermined edges. No induration felt. Skin surrounding sinus show pigmentation, even bluish in color. Differential diagnosis. Non-specific lymphadenitis. Lymphomas. Branchial cyst. HIV. Actinomycosis. Infective lymphadenitis. Investigations. Hematocrit. ESR peripheral smear. FNAC of lymph node and smear for AFB and culture. FNAC is very useful but not as superior as open node biopsy. Open biopsy when FNAC is inconclusive. Open biopsy is more reliable for tuberculosis and also in lymphoma, but it is contraindicated in node secondaries. HIV test, ELISA and Western blot. Lowenstein Jensen media is used for culture which takes 6 weeks to give result. So selenite media is often used which shows growth in 5 days. Montex test may be useful, but not very reliable. Chest x-ray to look for pulmonary tuberculosis. Polymerase chain reaction PCR is very useful method. Management. Antituberculous drugs treatment usually for 6 to 9 months. Rifampicin 450 mg once a day empty stomach, it is bactericidal. Isoniazid 300 mg once a day, it is bactericidal. Ethambutol 800 mg once a day, it is bacteriostatic. Pyrazinamide 1500 mg once a day, it is bacteriostatic. Aspiration. White bore needle introduced into cold abscess in non-dependent site along Z-track zigzag pathway to prevent sinus formation. Aspirate in anti-gravity direction. Incision and drainage. If cold abscess recurs, it should be drained. After draining caseous material, wound is closed without placing a drain. Surgical removal. When there is no local response to drugs, and when sinus persists. Raising skin flaps and removing all caseous material and lymph nodes. Excision of sinus tract is must.